Good morning, afternoon, evening, everybody watching. Um, happy to bring this video to you guys. I know it's been about four or five days worth of production, and I do apologize for no fancy background or anything. I'm in the process of moving, but let's go ahead and get into today's discussion, which is the Dead by Daylight beta discussion. My 100% honest review, my opinions, my thoughts, and everything that went into this beta and everything that's going to be coming after this beta, which is going to be the most exciting points to be made. So first off, let's discuss the worst part of this beta update that we're going to be getting. And that's to start off with the, the beta that we're experiencing currently isn't necessarily new. People who have played in Japan or Thailand or any other of those countries that have the NetEase version, they will quickly realize that they've played this beta before because it came in a previous beta that they had experienced. But that is not the main point of this review or update. The beta was to get a test of the United States population and set it up for a global release, which is going to take over the behavior side of the game. And that is going to lead into the future of Dead by Daylight Mobile. Now, it's not entirely clear what's going to transfer and what's not going to transfer. But to my current knowledge, we will be getting um, all of your content that you have. So if you're like Prestige 11 on your behavior account, which is currently global, it's going to go ahead and be able to be transferred over into the NetEase Global. But your ranks of so your rank one killer and a rank one survivor, you are now going to reset back to a rank 20 killer and a rank 20 survivor. And the same thing for people who are playing the NetEase beta. So if you're playing the NetEase beta, you're going to go from, let's say, a rank 10 killer or a rank 10 survivor. Or if you're really gung ho and you're a hit rank one survivor and killer on the beta version, you're going to most likely retain the level that you have your survivor or killer at probably lose the skins that they gave for free and from there you're going to go ahead and transition into the global version back at your rank 20 rank killer and survivor and that's going to be the main changes that come from the transition from the beta version or the behavior version that's going to transition to the global net ease version that is going to encompass the entire community. Um, the main goal is to get rid of version NetEase, ver version behavior, and have that combined into one version where NetEase is ultimately responsible and taking over the responsibilities for the game. I want to say probably after July 14th when the beta closes, I've been hearing a lot of rumors of July 19th being the point where the global version will launch and your account will most likely be tied with your either beta version or behavior version account that you will be able to transfer over onto the global release. And now that we got that over, over the way, let's kind of discuss the main problems with the beta. There were a lot of bug heavy issues in the game like the activity button where you couldn't use dead hard or you just had some minor visual glitches here and there. but. The main positive that we can take away from the beta is that we had a lot of good visuals from it. The generators look nice and refreshing. The maps look good. Um, we didn't get to see all the killers since it was only limited to the original non-licensed killers. We had the 13 original killers and then of course I think it was 13 or 14 survivors. You can uh, quote me on that in the comments down below. But the main things that the beta is doing as it's still going on and we still have 13 more days left for the beta not sure if i'm good with numbers but yeah so with those last couple days we're going to have for the last week and a half they're going to mostly tune up on probably two more surveys for the customer base to advise and kind of go over everything to expect and going through the second survey i'll show you a little picture right here at the 444 one mark that there is a possibility of future collaborations and future updates that we'll get with NetEase being in charge. They've had many games that they've had. Their expertise has always been the mobile community 
And moving forward, that's going to be a huge plus and probably one of the main reasons why Behavior chose NetEast originally to take over the mobile community. I imagine they're still going to be getting profit from any all the purchases and whatnot, but NetEase in their previous games like IV5, or I think it was IV, I haven't personally played it, but I have seen a lot of good reviews, and the pr public base is that they took a 4v1 symmetrical horror game and made it extremely successful on the mobile platform, something that Behavior was not 100% able to do with the, within the last two years that they've had over um, Dead by Daylight Mobile. And one of the main issues is they the team that's in charge of Dead by Daylight Mobile just isn't big enough to cons consistently give unique updates. Right now, the global far by behavior is about five months behind on an update and about seven updates behind of uh, the main core game. So with NetEase taking over the this is probably the most exciting part for anyone who's watching this video and I appreciate you coming this far along with it. Before we get into the most exciting part of NetEase taking over, I want to press that if you're enjoying my content or if you want to see any more face-to-face -face videos like this, hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know who your favorite killer down in the comment is below. But on to the main point. The main point that NetEase taking over is that we're going to be getting a lot of quality updates we're going to have a seasonal pass, which a lot of people don't enjoy, but it's good in the sense that it forces the company NetEase to be giving constant updates, whether it's a month long pass or a two month pass. We always know that we'll be getting some type of update, either with new content, new cosmetics, or even a new killer or survivor. Yes, that is correct. If you did, if you paid attention during the second survey, they mentioned that which kind of collaborations you would like. And they had a full list that mm -hmm. I'll be going over in a future video of collaborations that the community would like. And it's a big deal because NetEase and all their games that they have, it's always collaborations that they run through and then they get set up for their games that help it grow whenever there's like a drop in trends or a popularity for the games. So if anyone was gonna take over Dead by Daylight Mobile, and carry on the game and keep it updated, it would be NetEase because they have experience with community and getting collaborations with different games. So we can look and expect in the next year, I say that this time next year, we should have our first unique survivor or killer enter Dead by Daylight Mobile that is not directly on the core game. So that's probably the most exciting point I wanna stress about this upcoming update the global release. I want you to know to give it time, give NetEase an opportunity to show its worth to the Dead by Daylight community. As a lot of people are worried about the microtransactions and the setup that NetEase likes to take with its games. And for the most part, we need to understand that NetEase is a profit business company first. Their games were meant to produce profit so they're able to keep games online and running. While Dead by Daylight clearly isn't a standard MOBA shooter that's going to generate money super easily by just existing. They will be able to create unique cosmetics, create unique collaborations that are able to profit and make the company more money. So on that point, a collaborations are going to be a huge step forward for Dead by Daylight because it's going to be one of the main marketing points mm -hmm. that you see NetEase use to increase profit and be able to push the game into a higher light. Just in the last four days from the beta, they have been able to grow their Discord server, which is more like a customer service Discord server because it has a full customer service team developed and taking information and processing it and listening to the community from a company standpoint, they have actual customer service text inside their Discord server, which I will have linked down below for this video. And it's going a long way to showing the community that they are determined and they care about our feedback. So I understand that a lot of people are concerned with NetEase taking over and they prefer the old, the good old times with behavior taking over global, but you need to understand that they just don't have the time, energy, or manpower to be having their full focus on 
a mobile community. But that's everything that I'm going to be discussing in today's video over the 100% review on NetEase taking over and the beta that we've had so far. In total, I'd give the beta a 7 out of 10. It, it's nothing new, but the future of Dead by Daylight Mobile is going to be a 10 out of 10. And we should be having the golden age of Dead by Daylight that's going to make the community grow so much faster. And it's going to be better for all of us com combined. And the community is going to grow as a whole. So I appreciate you all stopping by and viewing my video today. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button, drop down a comment. And you can always link up with me in this Discord that's dropped right below. So thank you guys. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video.